Hello and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be taking a look at my repainted Meshikasaurus. Before we start, I just want to address yes. Um, I think basically the spot where I'm going to be filming reviews has changed. I'm just going to be reviewing stuff on my desk now. Still a little bit of stuff to clean up, but yeah. But anyways, let's get started. I don't know, I just repainted this guy, because so I got two of them in a lot from Once Upon a Child for a cheap price, and I didn't need to, so I was like, hmm, let's give it different colors. Anyways, get started. So yeah, I basically just took the Mattel Meshachasaurus, and then I just used the, kind of gave it the colors of the BOTM Chasmosaurus. It's pretty simple. It ain't perfect, because I haven't repainted that many figures. It's not like I have an airbrush or anything. And I haven't, like, sealed the paint, because I need, like, a sealer. But, it's decent. This side turned out better than the other. The eye looks pretty good. And there's the inside of the mouth. You can see all along the back. The action feature still works, but there's some paint in there so it doesn't work as fluently but I don't really care arms and legs and of course do claw paint because I want that on my figures so yes there it is I just wanted to quick show it off there's a comparison if you know the normal Meshikasaurus then you know how big it is here it is with the BOTM Cosmoceratops, because, well, I don't have the BOTM Cosmosaurus yet. I have it pre-ordered, but I don't have it yet, and the Cosmo and Cosmo share the same body, so I don't know. Anyways, I hope you liked this quick video, and please like, subscribe, and see you later. Bye.